Good morning. Welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I have to tell you how my morning's gone so far. This is not going to uh, show on today, but I'll let you know that I did this video on Harold's birthday. He's gone to play golf this morning, and so when he left, I thought, I'm going to go, and I'm going to get the... Um, ingredients to make him a carrot cake and I'm going to go and buy me some pumpkins and mums and later today I wanted to decorate outside. Well I did. I went to several places. I went to Walmart. I went to uh, a nursery and then I went to the best new little produce place close by. Everybody talked to me. Several people recognized me as Mama Sue, so they were talking to me up close. And I got home. I went to the restroom, looked in the mirror. I had on this earring, and then I had on another earring that didn't match. And I thought, oh my goodness. Well, wonder what those people thought. One lady said, are you feeling okay? And I said, oh, yeah, I'm feeling good. But I guess she thought I was kind of losing my mind. But sometimes we do crazy things like that. But anyway, I'm going to try to get this cake made before Harold gets home. He, like I, I don't know if I told you already or not, but he's playing golf today. But I'm going to make a cake out of Miss Annie's first cookbook. And it's on page 48, and it's Angela Binkard's Carrot Cake. They have told me that Angela makes the best cakes. So I'm gonna start with two cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, here's one. And there's two. All right, I'm gonna put the flour back. And I'm gonna get my sugar. And it's two cups of sugar. So here's a cup. What? Can't get a hold. There we go. Okay, put this back. All right, and to that, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of baking soda. One, two. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. and one teaspoon of salt. Harold's not here, so I hope you can see me doing this. I aimed the camera where I thought you could. All right, that's two cups of flour, two cups of sugar, two teaspoons of baking soda, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of salt. And I'm just gonna whisk that together. Just to kind of get all of it mixed together. Y'all love watching Mamie's kitchen and I love how she says, we're gonna let them get acquainted. That's the sweetest lady I got to meet her and about 21 other of the most precious people last weekend. I wouldn't take anything in the world for it. All right, now I'm going to add four eggs, and I've already 
cracked those eggs. And one and a half cups of vegetable oil. I know some of you are gonna say, oh, that's too much. It's gonna make it a moist cake. And a half. All right, I'm gonna take my mixer and I'm gonna mix this up. I'm gonna add three and a half cups of grated carrots. And I put the carrots in my food processor. I didn't grate them, I just chopped them fine. Yeah, you know, I love carrot cake and I don't make it that much. And when I asked Carol what kind of cake he wanted, he said, let me think. And he never told me. So, I know he likes carrot cake. Let me mix that. And the last thing that I'm going to add will be one and a half cups of chopped pecans. And I'm using Whaley's pecans. You can order from them if you go to um, whaleypecan.com and they're located in Alabama. So, one and a half cups. Just going to fold this in, and uh, I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees, and the recipe says to bake for approximately 40 minutes. So that's what we're going to do, but I will let you know how long I actually did cook it. All right, I have sprayed three pans with Baker's Joy. That already has flour in it. So, if you're gonna do a cake, I always would do Baker's Joy instead of um, just Pam, because it's more for baking. Okay, I've got one more pan. Let me put it. In. I just eyeball, and, and most of the time my layers are pretty even. Okay. I know there's a bunch of different ways to make 
carrot cake. I know some of you put pine, crushed pineapple in it, and I'm sure it's delicious. But the recipe that I am using and the one that I have used that was not Angela's is probably very similar because it doesn't have pineapple. But the carrots are going to cook and folks are gonna say, oh, my family doesn't like carrots. Well, they're not gonna know they're in there because they're gonna taste differently. Okay, now you want to hit them to get the bubbles out. And I'm gonna put these in my preheated oven and I'll be back in when they are done. Hello, I'm back. I left the cake in the oven 38 minutes. Check your own oven because the recipe said 40 minutes, but I was spelling it and I knew to check my oven because it does cook a little quicker. But I'm going to make the frosting and it's just a cream cheese frosting and Angela's Recipe says an eight ounce block of cream cheese that's softened and that's been out. One stick of butter softened and it's been out and I use salted butter. And I'm going to mix these together right now. Okay, she said put one teaspoon of vanilla, so I'm just going to eyeball it, and a one 16 ounce box of powdered sugar. Well, I buy my powdered sugar in bags, so I'm going to start with two cups because that's gonna be 16 ounces, but I usually add more when I do my strawberry cake. So let's see. more. For one reason, I want it to go further. So I'm going to add another cup. Now, Angela, on her recipe, said to um, add your pecans, fold the pecans in, a half a cup of chopped pecans, but let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to sprinkle them on top. All right, I'm going to give you a little secret. Don't ever think you mess up something that can't be used. Ooh, I got this all over me. Because, I don't know if you can see, but right here, it's stuck, broke off. So I just got a spatula, got it out of my pan, mashed it together like a puzzle, 
and it fits. And I'm just gonna glue it together with this good old frosting. Now you may do your frosting a little bit different, but I'll tell you what I do. This side that came apart, I'm gonna be real careful with it, okay? What I do is I will go ahead and go around this last layer, this bottom layer. Go ahead and frost it. Because sometimes it's harder to get to. And then I'll add, add the other layers on top. I know this is going to be delicious. I've made this before and it is good. It's almost exactly like the one that I have made. I used to, years ago when I taught school, which has been 20 years ago, uh, my friend Holly would tell me that her daughter, Kristen's favorite cake was a carrot cake, and I would make it for her birthday every year. Ah, she got married and hadn't made her one, but that's okay. She knows I love her. All right, now, we're gonna do the next layer. Just put it on top. this some Lazy Susan, and I think I have it linked on my website under favorite things because it is so convenient when you're frosting a cake, you just turn it. Now we're going to go to the last layer. And put it You know, some people only frost the layers and they leave the um, sides unfrosted. But I like, I like frosting on the sides. All right. So we're going to go and we're going to frost these others. Hope I have enough because usually I will put about three and a half cups in my strawberry cake frosting because I don't want it to go farther. I think we'll have enough though. I don't know um, if you'll know what I'm talking about, but bride's cakes and every thing you see now are kind of called naked cakes and that's where they put just a thin slice of I mean thin layer of frosting and you can really see the cake through it and that's what the brides are wanting now so it's this is going to be one of those naked carrot cakes that's okay A little bit more, we're gonna have enough. It's not gonna be real thick. 
but it's gonna be good. This does look like one of those naked cakes. But if you want one of these Lazy Susans and you don't know where you can get one, I'm pretty sure that I did put it in on my website, mamasusouthernkitchen.com. Because if you make a lot of cakes that you frost, this is going to save you some time and some problems. Okay. Now, I didn't put the pecans in the frosting, so I'm just going to sprinkle them on top. You know, we have pecans in the cake. I think it's pretty. And you know, whether it's pretty or not, we know it's going to be good. So, we're going to say happy birthday to Harold. And like I said, you're going to see this after his birthday. But, we're going to have carrot cake. Thank y'all for joining me. And remember that this recipe is in Miss Annie's Volume 1. And it's called Angela Binkard's Carrot Cake on page 48. You can order her cookbooks if you go to Miss Annie's Home and Kitchen.com. But anyway, remember Jesus loves you. Be salt and light, and let your light shine for him. I'll be back soon.